Yo, what is up, YouTubers? Venom Player here, bringing you another exciting episode of Pokemon Omega Ruby. Last episode, we had gone to Petalburg, and I want to say Route 103. Um, I want to let you know you might hear a little bit of background noise. My little sister just got home and is eating a snack. Um, but hopefully she'll be kind enough to be quiet for us. Uh... So, there is going to be a topic today. In the last episode, we got a Wonder Trading. And I got some Pokemon we can Wonder Trade. But, I've already done it a little bit. So, let's check out the Pokemon we got and who we still had. So, to kick it off, we have Tyrant, the Rock Dragon type Pokemon. Now, this thing has amazing amazing attack is it's almost it's about of two-thirds of its health which is outstanding especially for its level its defense is 12 and its special defense is 11 meaning it takes on more physical attacks but can still handle them special defense spe those special attacks it has decent speed of 10 and as a special attack of 9. Although its physical attacks are increased if it's a move that consists of Bite, Crunch, Ice Fang, Electric Fang, and Fire Fang. So next we, uh, next we have a not brand new starter that someone was kind enough to donate for I want to say a Floatzel or Junk. I don't, I don't know which. Uh, it was donated by Philip. Shout out for them. Say, say thanks if you know them. Um, but it Bulbasaur. We got a Bulbasaur. It is mainly a special attacker. All of its stats are six, except its regular attack, meaning it is a special attacker. Um, and its moves consist of Tackle and Giga Drain. Next, from we from last episode, we have Ralts. Same level, same everything. And then our original starter, Blaze the Torchic. Kicking it off with Scratch, Growl, and Ember. So, the theme of this episode is going to be, and I bet you can guess it, Wonder Trading. Now, I want to show you guys the wonders of Wonder Trading. Now I got both the Tyrant and Bulbasaur from uh, Wonder Trading. I had a Poochiana and a level 5 Wurmple. You guys remember the Poochiana from my last episode, level 8, it was okay. I ended up with a Tyrant level 1 for it, which I would trade for days because I can level up that Tyrant pretty easy because of its rock, uh, rock type. Mm. And then I got a Bulbasaur after trading a Wurmple for a Floatzel and a Floatzel for the Bulbasaur. And I take the Bulbasaur any day over the Floatzel. Why? I do not know. Uh, but it, it's definitely too high of a level for me. I will say that much. Alright, so now we are trading our Tim Pole and we will see what we're going to get. What is it? Uh, a Lotad. Ah. Uh. It's alright boys, it's alright, we ain't done yet. So we got a low tad. I'm gonna see if I can turn down the brightness a little bit. Uh, that's way too far. Uh, Josh? Okay, so my phone doesn't want to work right now. Um, but we are going to be going back again in Wonder Trading. All right, so yes. All right, yes, we do want to wonder trade. Now we will be trading this. It, it may be level fourteen, but still, it's higher than my other Pokemon, and I do not like low tads. And I don't know if there's anyone else that's with me, but Lombre sucks. I'm sorry, guys, and and Ludicolo. I think that's the one that looks like a pinata. I'm sorry, but I, I do not like them either. 
why, in my opinion, they're not good. It's not, their stats don't work for me. I don't know. I, I just never found them to be very useful. Um, yeah. So, we're trading our Lotad Sharn, I think. I don't know. For a Pidgey. I will take a Pidgey. I will. I don't know if you guys know this, but in the new Pokemon Omega Ruby, Pidgeot got a Mega Evolution. I am. I will take the Pidgey. I will. Alright, and that's going to conclude our Wonder Trading. I was just going to go until we got something good. And now, we are going to move on. So... I think we're going to do a little bit of grinding with Tyrant, do some trainer battles so you guys get a feel of what it's like. And I'm not sure if you guys know this, uh, actually Sean wants to battle us. Uh, never mind. Never mind, not anymore. Uh, okay, so there's a bug type trainer right here known as a bug catcher we're going to take him on and if it's not too much i'm going to see if i can find another trainer that we can take on with tyrant and crush it out oh we are challenged by bug catcher rick what does he have he is sending out a wormhole now i don't think it's gonna that last very long unless that wormhole can somehow somehow knows the move poison sting and manages to poison us okay so we knocked most of that wormful self down we still have first attack and that thing is knocked out. So we win the match. Tyrant is now level 6. He and Bulbasaur uh, level up a lot faster than our other Pokemon. Tyrant just learned Roar. And I forgot what that move does. I want to say we can get out of a battle. Uh, Pokemon, let's check it out. Oh, here's, here's some background music. The target is scared off and a different Pokemon is dragged out in the wild. This ends a battle against a single Pokemon. Wow. Alright, so because we're only at 8 minutes into the video, we're going to find another trainer battle. Or we're just going to grind out with Bulbasaur, either or. Either way works. We already battled her. There, I know for sure there are some guys back here that we can battle. So I probably won't get the Pidgey out till later in the game, uh, just because I won't need it, and I want to keep my team smallish right now. Um, but yeah, so let's get to it. So, youngster Billy is sending out a C dot. Now, I don't know what this thing knows, but I really hope none of it is grass type moves because I'm going to be switching in Tyron. The Bulbasaur still gets XP, and Tyron does too. And then that way Bulbasaur will, can level up, be strong, and fend for itself. Okay, so all it knows is Bide, so I'm just going to use Tail Whip. Okay, so it will be attacking us first. Um, and so I'm just going to move in with a tackle. It could not unleash any energy. And we just knock off, a, I'd say about 66% of its HP. Now if this hit lands, that thing's going down. And Bulbasaur reaches level 2. Alright. 
So we're gonna put Bulbasaur back in. All right. Ooh, Kalo is going to be having a fun time at the Tyrant. Both are level six. But Tyrant has a type of advantage because Kalo can do next to no damage to him. So I'm really hoping it doesn't know Growl or I'm gonna be mad. Heck, I, I will take it. Alright, so I'm gonna, so we're gonna deliver one more blow and hopefully this will do it. Alright, so someone wants to trade with us. Well, we may, we may not. Tyler is level 7. Bulbasaur gets 103 XP, goes level 3. The learned Growl is now level 4. Level 5. Does he want to go one more? No, he doesn't. Alright. Alright, we just earned some money. We just bought two battles. Oh, hold on. Let's see, what does he want? I may give my Pidgey if he has something good in mind. Alright. Alright, so let's see. Alright, I'm gonna show the Pidgey. And see what he has. Looks like he has a lot of Pokemon. Hopefully it's not too high, because I want to get something. What does he got? Alright, you know what? We're not gonna trade. He's not responding. Um, hopefully he'll not do anything. Alright. We're gonna call it an episode here, boys. I'll see you later. I'm gonna finish up this uh, trading process. And I'll see you guys later.